This is the journey to One Africa. Hey everybody, welcome back to Snow Family and this is Mika. Let's get right into it. So I'm I'm going to do reaction on on one of the videos that um happened this weekend. You all know that we had AU Summit um 37th Summit in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia and there's a lot of things that have been going on in this summit and I'm going to just go ahead to do reaction in some of the videos. But I'm going to start with uh the incident that happened uh, with the president of Somalia to give you a little bit of recap of what has been going on you all know that there have been a tension between Somalia and Ethiopia uh, you know simply because of the deal that uh, Ethiopia has actually um, agreed with Somaliland so Somaliland internationally is not recognized as an independent country even though they have it's all they have you know their own system they have their own president their own parliament their own money their entire system is you know themselves so basically they can operate as a single country as an independent country but it's not why because somalia has not accepted somaliland to be its own state and in order for your country to be accepted or recognized internationally as an independent country then the country you belong to they must acknowledge you and recognize you as an independent country so somalia they don't want somaliland to be not to be a part of somalia so they're holding them together and they say, no, you guys cannot be separate. We need to come together as one people. Somaliland, they say, you know what? We don't want to be with you guys because of a lot of historical facts. I don't want to go to that. Um, so eventually, uh, Ethiopia has cut a deal about the Red Sea, not with Somalia government, but they cut with Somaliland. And so this has been seen as a threat to the sovereignty of Somalia because Somalia, they're like, okay, why are you guys going to go to cut a deal with Somaliland and we are here? We are responsible for Somaliland. Why you cannot talk to us? You're going behind our back. So that tension has been going back and forth. They said, you know what? We're not recognizing that agreement. You guys must stop as soon as possible. And Ethiopia, they've been holding on to that because they really want uh, the access to the sea. And I came here, I did a lot of reaction, I did a lot of videos talking about that Ethiopia, every country in Africa deserves to have access to the ocean, uh, but we need to follow a proper channel to agree together that, okay, how can we work together in order for all of us to benefit from these resources that God has blessed us with in Africa? You know what I'm saying? That's, I came here and that was my stand. And some of the people, they were not happy with it. Some of it, people were happy, but you know, I shared my thoughts. And today, I'm gonna share my thoughts as well for what has happened in ethiopia uh so the president of somalia went to ethiopia for a EU summit and this is what has happened we're just gonna go and listen bear with me for some time and then i'm gonna go ahead and do reaction on it are you guys ready all right let's get into it in another incident that i would like to shed light on is what has happened this morning here in addis ababa this morning when I, when I prepared myself to go, to come and attend the closed session of the summit, the Ethiopian security has blocked my way. They refused me to come out of the hotel and go on with my cars and entourage to come to the sea. It took me a long time to stay there. And at the end, I come with another president's cars and entourage. And when we come to the African Union headquarters again, the two presidents of us, the president of the Republic of Djibouti and myself, again, we were blocked to enter the African Union headquarters. A soldiers with a gun stood in, in, in front of us and denied an access to this facility. This is the behavior that we are seeing. And I heard that it was not me, other heads of states also were there, who have experienced similar, similar behavior. The nice words of Prime Minister Abiy has no significance. His actions and the actions of the Ethiopia makes the significant. And the actions of Ethiopia as of today is to annex part of Somalia to Ethiopia and to disrespect the African Union summit 
participants are me. So the question is now, how Africa can be seen as an emerging power by being part of the G20 and many other forums, when some members of the African Union, of the African continent, are not respecting the very principles that the African Union has established. That's a good question. That's a good question. Somalia, as a founding member of the African Union, oh, man. we do not deserve that treatment from the country that hosts why, why the African Why does this keep Union. happening? Why these dramas, man? Why these dramas, man? These like high school As I said, kids I dramas. Again, nice words will never have, will never help Africa as a continent and as an individual country. And seeking an individual hegemony by one country in Africa will not help that country and in Africa, particularly using the nice face of the African continent would like to loudly say to our African Union brothers the behavior of Ethiopia is not an acceptable one uh, that it's compatible with the 21st century. Um, let me just start by saying this. You all know how much I love Ethiopia and I love you enough and when I talk about Ethiopia I'm not talking about the people as well. Uh, I'm talking about the government because in the case of this matter, it's about two different governments, right? Uh, so people, they, 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 they get in the middle of everything. And I think last time when I came, I say to the people that I you know, people of Somalia, people of Ethiopia, you must be very careful. And I even wrote a letter for us to be careful not to be dragged into politics. But something like this, it can easily be accelerated to the national level and the people of Ethiopia, people of Somalia, they can start arguing with one another. And we've seen that on social media, which I do not agree. And I think we should be very careful when things like this happen. We should learn how to let our state matter remain to be state matter leaders to solve and to deal with them. For us, we are not we are not supposed to be dragged in. Because at the end of the day, I'm telling you in this matter, Ethiopians will stand with Ethiopia. Somalis will, will stand with Somalia government. You know what I'm saying? And everybody's going to be pulling on their sides and we're not really solving the situation. So in the matter like this, first and foremost, what I would say is that individuals like me and you, we, we must extract ourselves from the situation. We must remove ourselves from the, the equation because what has happened, if it happened otherwise, you'll feel exactly the same thing what Somalia is feeling right now. So we must understand that. I know Somaliland people, they feel otherwise. They are together with Ethiopia, but Somalia is feeling otherwise. They're not together with Ethiopia or Somaliland because they feel like they're being threatened. You know what I'm saying? So we must think and stand on somebody's shoes and think about it critically. And also to be wise enough to not be dragged into politics because I believe politics is what uh, is disturbing the region of Horn of Africa, is what disturbing Africa all the time. And we can easily be dragged into that, easily, you know, be drawn into that and um, just end up not loving one another, end up killing one another, end up with a war and with the conflict and all this stuff. But we don't deserve it. All right. So we must be smart enough to remove ourselves from the equation of politics and stay from afar. Okay, that's the first thing I'll say. The second thing I said, I love Ethiopia with all my heart. I love Africa, you guys know, and I love you guys enough to speak the truth. So what has happened in Ethiopia with this president of Somalia, uh, you know, first and foremost is not right because this is the head of the state and he's there for African Union Summit. Uh, being held like that as the president of the country is not right. You know, whether you agree it or whether you disagree it, but if the same thing happened to your leader in another country, you say the same thing. And I'm saying this while you guys know that my stand is for one Africa. My stand is for Africa to be united. But we cannot speak one thing and act another way. Because what has happened to the president is not worthy. It was not supposed to happen that way. So for that, Ethiopia has made a mistake. I can say that clear blankly. And you guys, you can let me know in the comment section as well. It is not right what happened to him. 
it will be not right if you are president as well or your prime minister went to another country and been treated that way it will be not right we always come here we speak about how our president and our leaders are being treated outside of the continent you remember the video that showed our president in the single bus when they went uh for a funeral of queen elizabeth of united of united kingdom we came here and we say it is not right for our leaders to be treated that way so if we say that about our leader as outside of the continent we must say the same thing about our leaders inside the continent otherwise i'll be hypocrite and you're not deserve to follow me i don't deserve even to speak here you guys you should cancel me i should not be here standing in front of you sharing this if i'm not going to be straight and honest with you so it is not right for what has happened to the president of somalia in ethiopia it's blank it's clear as it is and if you don't see the problem then i'm afraid that you you know the things to take sides and uh the only side that i'm taking for this is the side of africa but that as an african man i wouldn't feel this i wouldn't feel right if my president was treated like that in another country for whatever reason that is out there because i believe when it comes to the state matters then in, in this case you know african union basically the boss there is african union so african union supposed to resolve this issue they were supposed to be there to know how things are going on or even the prime minister of ethiopia and the president of somalia they were supposed to 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 resolve the case but being held not being allowed to get out and go to the um au venue and not be allowed to enter with the soldiers man that is like the same thing that can happen to me as a like i'm making this video but this might happen to me not being allowed to enter ethiopia and for me i would understand because i'm saying these things against what has happened to the president of somalia but this is the president of a sovereign country going for african union summit so just just think for that for a second how wrong this is and if you don't see how wrong it is just try to flip the coin and think about your own leader and this happened to your own leader so for this we have to agree we don't need to have a degree we don't need to go to school just a normal brain that god has given us you can see and you know that this is wrong it's not right so what to do now because i i, I don't have to come here and say this is not right is but what to do now well he says something the president of Somalia that I think is very critical that we are emerging power and we are the future superpower of this world and we must know and realize that unity is the most important thing that we need right now working against each other we don't need that right now working together with one another and finding the better solution for our countries to work together is the best thing that could happen to us right now so somalia ethiopia don't act like a little babies and when i'm talking about that i'm not talking about the people i'm talking about these governments it's a time to act uh, maturely and resolve this issue we must resolve this issue we don't need to drag our people into this because at the end of the day the innocent lives of people will be wasted so you guys you have responsibility leaders you have responsibility to protect your people by resolving these things out we can't work however we want and putting the lives of our people in danger we can't do that we must be wise we must take the necessary steps and let me tell you this man this is this is ugly i'm i'm talking this as a normal african it's not supposed to happen like this you know what is happening you know what i see like this when the president come and talk about these things in the media you know i see that happening in my country not about the leaders but you know uh musicians when one musician is mad at another musician they go on the media and they talk about it that how can you treat like me like this how can you this is low our standard this is below our standard but do you want the president of Somalia now stand there and to speak about these things that are happening to him? Do you want him, for him not to do that, to stay silent? But this is below standard. We, we, we must resolve these things. The leader of the state is not supposed to stay here and talk about these things. He's not supposed to go to Al Jazeera and talk about these things. Because what do we do? What are we benefit from that? We're not benefiting ourselves. We actually show the world how messed up we are. 
We actually show the world how low standard we are. We actually show the world how much we cannot work together. That's why people like Eric Prince step out and say that, you know, we must recolonize Africa again because these leaders, they don't know what they're doing because of issues like this. The leader of the states are not supposed to go out there and attacking one another. Are not supposed to share things like this. But they share because it happens. It happens because we're not managing the situation. We're not solving the situation. And then you don't want me to talk about it. You give me content to talk about it and you don't want me to talk about it. This is below our standard. This is something that even me, I don't do it. People, they attack me here. People, they do this and that, that. But I don't go outside and be like, okay, somebody has done this. There's a lot of things happen to me. And I'm not talking about them because it's below my standard. And the leaders of a nation cannot, have, cannot do something like this. Can't beg the Westerners to come and to help them. The president of Somalia is going to Egypt and begging Egypt to support them. Go to here, beg. We can do better than this by not allowing this situation to happen. Every single action have a reaction, have a consequences. Why are we sabotaging one another? Why are we pulling each other down? Why are we allowing this situation to happen? the leaders of the country for god's sake people are looking up to y'all guys we can't keep doing this these are cheap games no no matter what it is man these are cheap games we we must we must do it right we must get it right and guys let me say this man i'm not i'm never gonna be here to defend anything that i know that is not good for africa's unity and people, we must be awakened. I know you might be loving your leader. I know you might be loving whatever. I know, I know that. But we must think critically and see that where is the issue and how can we resolve this? We must be able to think for ourselves, looking at the situation, remove yourself from the equation and look at the situation as a third part and also judge for yourself. You'll be able to realize and put yourself in somebody else's shoes and try to see the situation. This is not supposed to happen. This is very low, below our ground, below our value. If we cannot just talk together like this, but sabotaging each other like this, pulling each other down like this, what do we expect our people to do? Because obviously Somali president, he has his own followers. And you know, prime minister of Ethiopia, he has his own followers. So you're putting these two groups in a danger already. But we, as a leader, we can lead people to unity. When the president of Somalia and the prime minister of Ethiopia come together in unity and harmony, holding hands together and say that, you know what, we're going to solve this together as brothers. The people will hold their hands together, those who are following these leaders. And, and that's very easy. That's why I say, guys, the, the, the issue of uniting Africa is very easy. It's not, it's not a complicated situation. Leaders just need to be frontline and be this African Union Summit 37th, 2024. And this is what is happening in the summit during the summit. Where is the African Union? Where is the union we're talking about? This is just chit chat, man. Things that do not have any I mean, this if this is what is happening there, what is happening behind the scene? Do you expect to see the unit of Africa soon? If every single day our leaders are arguing with one another, fighting against each other. Guys, come on, we're better than this, man. Drop down your, 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 your hypocrisy. We're better than this, man. You're better than this. Come on, we must hold our leaders into the high standard. And this is the high standard because we are ashamed internationally. Eric Prince, the man step outside and say we must recolonize because these guys are not doing anything. Man, come on, man. And you can see everything he says is true. Come on, you guys. Come on, man. Come on. We deserve respect, Africa. We deserve respect. And you guys are there in the front line to show that respect. We don't want to reflect this kind of thing, man, in our nations. Come on, man. I'm talking to Ethiopians. I'm talking to Somalis. Guys, extract yourself away from the politics. I'm not saying don't su support your country. But when it comes to issues like this, people must come together and be like, you know what? I understand my brother. I understand you, my brother Ethiopians. That's why I came. I said, you know what? I understand my brother Ethiopian wanting access to the sea. Every country in Africa is supposed to have an access to the sea. I understand that. And also I say, I understand Somali's brother for getting angry. I understand that. 
because of how the situation happened and that's what the president say that it's not about you having access but how you're going about it i understand because you must know that i understand and my side is africa so whatever that is happening i try to understand as much as i can what is what is not right is just not right we can't go right about it we need to be straight we need to be direct we need to be truthful and honest with ourselves otherwise you're not going to see the change africa deserve otherwise our people are not going to come together so it's my call to all ethiopians or somalis you guys are one people we are one people all africans are one people let's stay away from this from these conflicts and let's join our hands together as people say so you know what my brother you know your sea is my sea all right and my land is your land we're one people one africa L -l let's stop with this thing all right let's not just you know just following whatever that is is there we just fall no 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 we're not gonna solve africa and that and let me tell you guys you young generation you are the potential and the future and the current and the prisoner of uh, the present of africa if we cannot come together as one and think reason reason this thing critically and talk with one another with compassion with the love with everything we got in our hearts we're not gonna see the one africa in our generation and our children the next generation are going to suffer what is happening right now is affecting the current generation and the next generation. And we must be bold and smart enough to choose what kind of fight we need to fight. You know, sometimes the victory does not come from you going on a battlefield and fight. Sometimes the victory comes from you not attending the battlefield and fight. Sometimes not all kind of wars you need to step outside and fight. Some other wars you just need to stay inside. Because if you stay inside, it's not gonna, it's gonna, it's not gonna come to you. You don't need to follow the war. You don't need to follow the battle. Some of them, you win by removing yourself from the equation and be like, you know what? It's not worth it fighting this war. I'm just going to stay silent. And that's how you win sometimes. So if you have ears to hear, listen to that because that is wisdom. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. That's the most important thing. I'm here, man. Our side is Africa, and we're going to always stand with Africa. Let us know what you think, and I'll highly appreciate that. God bless. Hey, guys, as you're watching this video, our vision is to reach 500,000 subscribers. Hit the subscribe button. And join membership to support our channel. And join Patreon and PayPal. All the links are in the description. Do that to stand with us for this beautiful cause of One Africa right now. We do. Do not forget to sign up for the petition. The link is down below. Law. Appreciate. It. Thank you so much.